Hello lovely people, I am Penge from the Geek Cupboard and I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you this tutorial on the tools you'll have to manage your prison in Prison Architect 2. Running a prison isn't an easy job, there's a lot to manage and situations can pop up at any time to make things a bit complicated. Fortunately you have a number of very handy prison tools at your disposal to make your life that little bit easier. In this video we're going to look at prison staff, prison programs, prison policy, prison labour and intake. Of course you couldn't run the prison at all without your wonderful staff to do all the different jobs that need doing. In Prison Architect 2 staff are split into three groups, Workforce, Security and Admin. You can see the members of staff you have in each group by clicking on the Staff button and then clicking on the appropriate tab. Workforce staff are the workers, janitors, cooks and doctors that do all the building, cleaning, cooking and medical care in your prison. Security staff are the people in charge of maintaining order in your prison and include guards, snipers, enforcers and dog handlers. Admin staff are the managers, the paper pushers behind the desks who fill in all the forms and write all the reports, as well as generating XP which you can use to unlock new things for your prison. Specific admin staff also grant you access to other useful tools. For example, an accountant allows you to view your finances, while the security chief provides access to sector deployment for your security staff. To hire new staff members, simply click on the appropriate hire button and the new recruit will appear on the roster. If a hire button is greyed out for a type of staff member, it will need to be unlocked via the bureaucracy tree. If, for whatever reason, you want to fire a member of staff, maybe you can't afford them all or one of them looked at you a bit funny, then find their character portrait in the appropriate staff tab and then right click on their portrait to dismiss them. Prison programs give your prisoners the opportunity to learn new things or better themselves whilst in your prison. For example, prisoners who pass a higher education program are more likely to be paroled and those who pass an addiction therapy program can lose their addiction trait entirely. To view the programs available in your prison, click on the management button and then the programs tab. In total, there are six different types of program, basic education, higher education, kitchen safety, mindfulness, addiction therapy and behavioral therapy. The two education programs cost $500 to run, whereas all the others cost a mere $200. Programs need to be unlocked in the bureaucracy tree. If they aren't unlocked, you can't offer them to your prisoners. If you choose to run a program for your prisoners, you'll need to select a room and a time for the session to take place. The basic education, higher education and kitchen safety programs need a classroom, whereas the mindfulness, addiction therapy and behavioural therapy programs take place in a common room. To assign a program to a room, click on the program you'd like to run, in this example we're going to run a mindfulness program, and then find an appropriate room in your prison. Click on the room where you'd like to run the program, and then choose a time slot. Free time is required in the prison regime for time slots to be available. Once you've selected a time, click on it and the program will be booked in. You'll be able to see the book programs and time slots on the overlay, as well as on the program planner in the top right corner of the screen. Each program in a classroom is taught by an external teacher, so there's no need to hire any extra staff. The prison psychologist teaches the programs assigned to all the common rooms, so you won't be able to book simultaneous programs at the same time in separate common rooms because the one psychologist can't be in two places at once. When you select a program, some prisoners will be highlighted on the map. Those in yellow are interested in attending that program. Prisoners in green are already enrolled, and those in blue have already passed the course. One very useful tool you want to make use of is being able to dictate prison policy. Prison policies are unique options that allow you to control specific aspects of the goings on around your prison. To view prison policies, click on the administration button, then click on the policies tab, then click on the prison wide option. This will show all the policies you have unlocked that you can currently control. To change them, simply tick the appropriate box or drag the relevant slider. Once a policy has been amended, the change will take effect around the prison the moment you leave the administration screen. To begin with, you may not have many policies available, so you'll need to unlock them by using the Bureaucracy tab. If an upgrade gives you a new prison policy, it will clearly say Policy and the name of the policy in the list of things the upgrade unlocks, as shown here. Upgrades on the Bureaucracy tree are looked at in more detail in another tutorial video. Another aspect of prison policy is the ability to dish out punishments to your prisoners if they misbehave, and let's be honest, they probably will from time to time. From the Policies tab, click on Punishments to see the range and severity of punishments currently set for various misbehaviours. From this screen you'll be able to specify the type of punishment for a particular misdemeanour, as well as the length of that punishment, and whether the offender in their cell should be searched for any contraband or other things they probably shouldn't have. You can set individual punishments for a custom configuration, 
or if you just want to set everything to the same severity, you can use the All Punishments option as shown here. Click the drop down and then select how harshly or not you'd like to punish your prisoners. Click Yes to confirm your decision and a default set of punishments will be applied. Prison Labour is a tool that allows you to put your prisoners to work around your prison. Not only does this save a bit of money on staff by getting your prisoners to do things like the laundry or the cooking, it could also stop them getting into trouble by keeping them busy. Prison Labour is covered in more depth in another tutorial video, but it's a very powerful tool you have to exert your authority on the prisoners. Intake determines how many new prisoners will be sent to your prison and is a crucial tool for any warden. Not only do prisoners earn you money when they arrive at your prison, they also generate income each day they remain there, so the intake of prisoners is key to the continuation of your prison. To view prisoner intake details, click on the Prisoners button and then the Intake tab. Prisoners are split into four different security levels. Minimum security, medium security, maximum security and supermax. The higher the security level of the prisoner, the more money you'll receive. This is covered in a little more depth in another tutorial video. To adjust the amount of prisoners you'd like to welcome into your prison, simply drag the slider of the appropriate security level up or down to the required number, and then press Save Changes. The next day, if there are cells available, the new prisoners of that security level will arrive. If there aren't any cells available, then no new prisoners will be sent to you. Once the new arrivals have been safely delivered to you, the intake settings will reset to zero. If you want to repeat the same intake settings day after day, then set the repeat option to on. If you want prisoners to arrive even if there are no cells available, then set the overfill option to on. However, use this with caution because overcrowding in a prison generally leads to bad things happening. If you've unlocked the intake arrivals bureaucracy upgrade, then you'll be able to change the arrival time of your new intake. Click on the arrival time drop down and choose a time that suits you. Whatever changes you make to your intake options, remember to press the Save Changes button before leaving the tab. So as any prison warden will tell you, managing a prison can be a very tricky job indeed. You've got finances to balance, expectations to manage, reputations to uphold, and of course the board are always watching to see how you handle the pressure. But as warden you do have a lot of very useful tools, policies and staff members to help keep your prison running as smoothly and effectively as possible. That wraps things up with our look at the prison tools you have available in Prison Architect 2. Remember to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with other Prison Architect 2 tutorials and videos, and we'll see you in the next one.